Okay, now we'll start. Yay! Uh, get me through this door, please. Alright, we're back to playing Mass Effect. Uh, last time we were on Vermeer, Ashley died, and it was kind of sad, actually, because she wasn't a terrible character. Um, but somebody had to die, and if somebody had to die, it might as well be the one we can't romance. Yes, basically. <laughs> she was, I don't know, she was kind of like our best friend, sort of, that wasn't Liara. <laughs> Ashley, she was our best friend, sort of, but wasn't Liara. We'll put it's that on her. Engraving on the tombstone. Yeah. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Oh, finally. Sweet. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. So we can die first. Wait, that's a terrible idea. Thank God they're actually doing something, though. Jeez. Yeah. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. Uh, what about Ilos, though? How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. It's uh, not no. I need to go after him directly, actually. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. You don't even acknowledge what the situation is. Yeah, what about the conduit? Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. What about the Reapers? Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. You guys are dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. Uh. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. You son wow. of a bitch. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Politicians, man. Yup. Basically. Commander, are you all right? I'm sure there's a way to appeal. We're under Alliance authority, after all, not the Council. Yeah, we kind of tried. Official channels are closed. They were quite clear about that. Closed. And we're supposed to accept that. So where do you think the best view will be when the Reapers roll through? If we have to sit it out, may as well get a good seat. <laughs> I like his style. I don't think it's over. I think we can do something. We lost the battle, not the war. I'll figure something out. If I can be of any help, let me know. I hope I'm not out of line saying that. <laughs> oh, he's so adorable. <laughs> always this cautious with a sure thing? Yeah, well, I always leave a way out. You know that. I'm here for you. But we're in a rough spot, and the last thing I want to do is muddy things. Like it's all that clear to start with. Are we the pride of the fleet or not? Are we valued agents or just peons? 
Kind of depends on who you ask. I'm sick of how they're too. feeling that day. Maybe we need to take a little initiative. You have something up your sleeve, Shepard? What am I saying? When don't you? That's what I love. Appreciate about you. <laughs> you tease. Galaxy in the balance and you trip talking to me. I just need a little practice is all. <laughs> but I think we've got some time. Oh, 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 Well, I mean, yeah, the ship is kind of locked out on the Citadel, and there's Sorry bullshit going on. Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. <laughs> Are you serious, Joker? Are you listening in? Are you spying on us, Joker? No, ma'am. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to me... I love Kane's blocks, look. That club down in the wards. Well, I guess you better mm, go, then. I'm gonna need to get Joker out of the way before I make my next move. Oh my god. And that is forever dark for the rest of the game. A mark of shame for losing a squad mate. Yep. Alright, let's take Tally and Liara. Interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. <laughs> I like how you just sure. turn back to Tally like, what the fuck, bumping into me? Your door wasn't open yet. Uh, Get back over there. <laughs> Alright. There are three side quests on the Citadel I have not done yet. Uh, we might be able to get only two of them, because I might have been stupid and missed one, but we'll see. Um, we're definitely not going back. Like, if I miss any side quests that we I can't get ver before Vermeer, then culture. fuck it. This must be like I'm not reloading a save you, just to get a side quest. Our <laughs> travels now are somewhat different from my normal excavations. I would prefer lengthier studies and fewer explosions. <laughs> Yes, most of the technology I had hoped to bring back to the flotilla has subsequently attempted to kill us. <laughs> um, can you open your journal, please? I want to see what the name of the next priority mission is. Brace right. against time, Sovereign. According to the thing you looked up, you need that as a prerequisite to get one of the side quests you were looking up. I know. I'm so, aware. Oh, so. Two side quests are only available while you're locked out of the Citadel. The third one is one I literally just forgot to do. So I'm hoping it's still there while you're locked out of the Citadel. Okay, but doesn't if it's a prerequisite for one of those side missions, doesn't it's mean not. it's not available yet? No, it's not a prerequisite. Oh. We're, we're done with prerequisite missions. Everything that's going to be available is available right now. Um, first thing we're going to do is go to Korra's Den. And I'm gonna cross my fingers, hope to God. Yeah, he's still here. They told me it was you, but I didn't believe it. Shepard grew up and turned into a soldier. Uh, who are you? Have we met? Name's Finch. You probably don't remember me, but we ran together in the 10th Street Reds. Maybe you don't remember it yourself, running in a gang. None of the vids mention it when they're talking about you. Uh, I'm kinda past that. So I ran with the Reds. That's behind me now. We're not trying to cause you trouble, Shepard. We just want a favor, for old times' sake. One of the Reds, Kurt Wiseman, got picked up by Turians. We'd like you to talk to the Turian guard in the bar and get Kurt out. Mm. Investigate. Yeah. What was this guy arrested for? Some stupid minor offense. Maybe he had a little red sand. You know how the Turians are. They declared him a problem, and they're shipping him back for a trial. You're not asking me to break Wiseman out of jail, are you? Of course not. But word has it you've got some pull with the aliens. All we're asking you to do is pull a little for us. What was one of the 10th Street Reds doing in Turian space? Since your days, the Reds have expanded. We do some salvage, a little shipping here and there, that kind of thing. This guy's just oozing with shadiness. Mm, no promises. I'll talk to the Turian and see what I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I knew you'd remember your old friends. The guard's over in Korra's den. Take care of this, and you'll never see me again. He is shady, but our past is shady. Um, yeah, true. This is part of the Earthborn background. You were in a gang, and in order to get out of the gangs, you uh, join up with the Alliance military. So do they give you a different mini-mission every time, uh, depending on what uh, your background is? Yep. 
Exactly. So this is the one for the Earthborn. Can I help you? Um, I've got a warning. A human named Finch wanted me to use my authority as a specter to free Kurt Wiseman. The xenophobe? I should have known he'd have friends. Thank you for the information. We'll increase the guard on his cell. I knew you'd rat us out, Shepard. Now it's payback time. Right in front of the Turian dude? When we're through telling our story. What? The aliens will all know what the first human specter really is. So what? You think I care what the aliens think of me, Finch? But this is your career. You'd throw it all away like that? Throw what away? They can't touch me. I can legally execute everyone in this bar. You think the council cares about my shady past? The Spectre has overcome a troubled youth to lead a proud military career. The Turians would not care about such things. And I doubt your lies would fool the Salarians or the Asari. Fine, Shepard, you're right. You're not one of the Reds. Maybe you never were. That man is a xenophobe who thinks he can blackmail a Spectre. You should have killed him. No, I shouldn't have. That's not the way I work. Goodbye, human. It'll be interesting to see what kind of specter you turn out to be. Perhaps you'll shave your head and wear a monocle. Did you just say the S word? Yes. It was a James Bond reference! Oh. No. No! It was a James Bond reference. Bad. All right, anyway, uh, I really want to get those last points of in Intimidate, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think I'm too far Paragon. Um, Probably. Well, yeah. you, there aren't enough, there aren't, I don't think it does, I don't think Paragon matters, it's just there aren't enough dialogue options left in the game, possibly, to open up the rest of Renegade. Probably. So let's just uh, slip the next points in uh, Sniper stuff. Sniper, Sniper things. Um, Liara, you get better at throwing people. That's funny. Throwing people's funny. Liara, ew, Shepard. Sorry, I just. <laughs> you send so many butterflies into my stomach when I look at you. It just makes me throw up every time. Okay. I see. Which one's this? Explosion damage, shield capacity. Okay. We need to uh, actually increase our ability to repair the Mako. Oh no, there's another Mako mission? E the last one in the game. Mm. Only, only one more. Only one more. I'm not well, telling you where it is because it's. The fact that you're worried about putting more points into that is starting to worry me though. It, it's <laughs> fine. It, it will be perfectly good. Alright, um, let's go to the markets. You have arrived at the markets in the wards. But that was the quest I was worried about. Okay. The other two are available only while you're on the Citadel, so we'll go ahead and get those. No Look at all these people. Me. You're the Spectre, right? Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. Uh, what do you want? You obviously wanted to speak to me. I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. I want to punch them already. Can I support in the next election? You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest. As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. Then you've learned nothing. I thought the lesson of the first contact war was that there's other life in the galaxy and they have opinions too. <laughs> well, very I'm well so said. But if aliens feel free to <clears throat> express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? What happened at the mass relay was a misunderstanding. If you saw a child about to touch a gun, wouldn't you stop them? I'd pull them away, yes. I wouldn't shoot them dead. I think this metaphor is getting a little out of control. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure the appeasers are right. Sorry, I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. 
Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The fuck no. did I just support say? The first human specter would be invaluable. I won't support you, no, not at all. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. So they're gonna start as like in the second game do they send bodyguards after or hitmen after you or something? I don't remember. We'll see. I'd like there to be some kind of continuity with them. I'm sure there is.